things up and ready and going. All right, uh, so we are live. Um, well, not exactly. Um, I decided to come in here five minutes early just to make sure that everything is in place. Um, uh, what I'm going to be doing is doing a Q&A. Let's, uh, let me type over here and then we'll talk to you. Um, for some reason, it's not showing my YouTube yet, so, or it's acting up. But find out. I'm having issues here. Okay. Oh, I forgot. It's on a slight delay. There we go. Um, so, uh, I, I really, I know I'm not going to actually know about six full minutes to asking questions, but if you got any questions for me, go ahead and, um, <coughs> yeah, go ahead and write them on the, in the comments below, and I'll go ahead and start gathering your questions up. Uh, but as I said over there, I've got this lovely, it's called, yeah, you figured out, Zumundo. Um, it's, Really, it's a off-brand would-you-rather. So what I'm going to be doing is I've got a entire box of these questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a card out of this box. I'll probably just start from the front, so let me move this one back here. Um, and then I'm going to go over here to random.org. And I've already got it set to generate numbers 1 through... Um, one through five, and then I'm going to pick whichever one's on here um, will be, you know, one one will be pain, fear, discomfort, two will be appearance or embarrassment, three will be food ingestion, four, ethics, intellect, and five will be random. So I'll just, you know, instead of the colors here, because you're supposed to actually use like a, um, a little bag and it's got colored discs, and whichever color you pull out, that's the color you pick. So instead, I am going to um, just do one through five and do it from here. Uh, so that's going to be what I'm doing. If you guys keep seeing me look over, I am keeping an eye on uh, my YouTube. So if you are watching this on YouTube, hey guys, how you doing? Um, like, so you guys can join me over here on you now or watch it there. Uh, if you do post any questions on the YouTube channel, hopefully I'll be able to catch those. Oh, there we go live chat. Um, there we go. So yeah, if you do leave any questions on my YouTube channel, I do have uh, my new tablet up, up right here. So it's kind of got, you can see what kind of delay we're working with here. But the chat does show here on the screen. Um, so I will be able to see any questions you leave on my YouTube channel. Uh, I've got Facebook up here. So if anybody sees my link on Facebook, I've got, I can answer questions there. So if you might see me look away or type, I do have Facebook up, so um, I, I won't try and post anything, but if I do get any questions there, I'll pull them up there. But like I said, ask any questions over here, or if you're on my YouTube channel, go in the live chat, which I don't know which side that will be on. I don't know. I, I've got it on full screen. Uh, so one minute, start. Um, just pulling these questions out. I will try to type them over here on the sidebar. Um, just so if you do come in later or what have you, or if you're watching this on YouTube, I might put them down in the description if I remember. Who knows? Um, I've, if you guys have watched my channel before, I have done a couple of podcasts just asking these questions and answering them myself. But I will be asking myself these questions, and if you want to answer them yourself, feel free to do that over there in the lovely chat. I keep forgetting which side it's on because I'm backwards. Um, so, uh, about one minute, we'll wait for some more people to come in, and we'll get things going. And just to say, I am not, it, it's, it's not a sponsor, but I am drinking GB water right now. I love this stuff. Actually, it's not my favorite brand of water, 
But if GB slash Walmart ever wants to sponsor me, I'm never going to say who my favorite is. I just wish these bottles were a little more um, sturdy. So, all right, it is 7 o'clock. So what I'm going to do now, um, ha -ha, you now do now get it. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. Actually, the first question I'm going to ask you guys is not in the would you rather. Sorry, I just totally hit my screen. But um, it was actually this big thing that little Debbie was saying they were getting rid of some things. Uh, so I've got this lovely box here, the lovely classic um, Christmas tree cakes. My question is to you guys, would you rather have the plain um, white ones with the white cake, white filling, or, and one thing, and I'll show you guys my answer here in a minute, but this one does have the sprinkles on or no, I don't know what it is, it's like sugary sprinkles, versus the chocolate ones. Do you rather have the white ones or the chocolate ones that have chocolate cake and chocolate filling? But one of the things for me in here, uh, I'll show you guys, I actually was just eating one. My big difference is the fact that these ones have like those sugary crystals, it's just premature solid sugar, and they're crunchy. But the chocolate ones have your classic soft sprinkles on them. And I don't know why, but I actually prefer the crunchy sprinkles. Um, but they're amazing. So, um, just, just your opinion. Which one would you rather eat? The white ones or the chocolate ones? That's the first question. Um, so, if you guys are watching this afterwards on my YouTube channel, answer all these questions um, in the comments below. Make sure if you want to you know, write them down, write down your answers. And then just put them all at once, or just answer them as you go and pause the video, what have you. Uh, so, that was my first question. Do you like the white or the chocolate Christmas trees? There's no wrong answer. I will not call you a racist. So, for the first Zumundo, I have no idea, but really, uh, it was copywritten in 98 and 2000 by Hasbro. So, I guess it's a legit company, but for the first card, I pick number five, which is random. So, let me type it over here in the sidebar for you to answer later. By the way, I wish I could read and type in time, but I've never been well, good at that. So, for the first question for Zoomundo, um, would you rather, for the rest of your life, walk on five foot stilts? Fat, fat foot stilts. Guys, I'm still used to where this camera is. Or ride a unicycle? Well, that one's kind of easy to answer because, well, um, I'm, I've kind of got this whole fear of height thing, so I, I wouldn't want to do five knee thing except for, nope, not going to answer that. This is a family-friendly channel. Um, but yeah, no, I would not want to be five feet higher than I already am. Uh, so let's go with unicycle. I'm okay with saying unicycle. So I'm keeping an eye on my uh, live stream over here. All right, so um, since there's no one watching right now, um, I'm going to try to give some time. If you guys all show up later on, um, we get some more viewers. I'll give some pauses between. Um, if you, like I said, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel or if you're watching this uh, later on on my YouTube channel, make, like I said, make sure to put the comments down below you know, or over in the live chat, whichever, wherever it is on YouTube, I I think it's the same direction as over here. But yeah, just do over here in the live chat, whether you're on my YouTube or over here on you now, or just do it in the regular comments once I post this live. Um, but yeah, if you are watching it after the fact, feel free to pause the video, write your answer, and then go on to the next question. Alright, so, next one, let's go to random.org. And let it decide what five. Also, random.org is not a sponsor, but 
if you sponsor, call me. All right, so we've got three. Three is food ingestion. And there might be some of these questions. Oh, hi, unknown FOE. I like that. That's kind of cool name. Oh, wow, you invite everybody. Awesome. Well, we're doing a would you rather um, lovely thing. So um, let's, 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 I'm going to ask some questions. I've already asked a couple questions over here. So, uh, yeah, check it out. Um, I don't know if I can fan right now. I'll see if I can do that. I'm still learning how to do all this stuff. This is like my whopping fifth one. Ooh, there we go. Fan. Ooh, I like your profile picture. There we go. I'm still learning how to do all the side stuff. All right, so for my second question, I'm doing food and ingestion. I like that there might be some questions I might not answer because after reading, I might be like, that's not family-friendly content. I've already actually had some old cards that I have um, cut. Oh, cool. Thanks, unknown. <laughs> I just learned how to do that. I actually just finally figured out how to do a uh, add a guest to my live stream. I'm learning things. Um, anyway, next question. Here, let me type it up. Let me also put question two. Um, let's see if I can try to type and do it. After a 10-mile run. Nope, I can't do it. Have a drink. Have two drinks. See, I can't read. Have to drink a gallon of hot coffee. Or a half gallon of cream. Ooh. So there's a uh, second question. Like I said, for those of you who are watching this afterwards on my YouTube, um, and I don't know if it even pops up the questions on my actual YouTube. I don't think it does. Um, so I'll, I'll try to remember which ones I asked and type them in the description below. But so the final question, let me read it out again. After a 10 mile run, have a drink, have to drink a gallon of hot coffee or a half gallon of cream. Um, I don't think I well, first of all, I was a 10 mile marathon, or 10 miles, period. But, um, yeah, no. I mean, if I can put the half gallon of cream and the gallon of hot coffee, maybe. But, yeah, no, definitely. Because cream after running would be just disgusting. At least coffee would then clean out your system. Um, so, yeah. I don't think I could do a, a half gallon of cream. Unless it's a half gallon of ice cream. Isn't that weird? You can't eat, like, six, you know, mozzarella, just cold sticks. But you batter and fry them, you can eat those babies all day long. So it goes same with cream. I can, I could eat probably half a gallon of ice cream, but not after running. But I don't think I could drink a half gallon of cream. You know, um, I don't want to ask my audience about their favorite celebrity. Sorry, if you guys, if you've ever done a You Now stream, it gives you tips on how to talk to you guys. But I already know what I'm talking to you guys about. I'm talking to you about Zumundo. And would you rather do any of these things? I also want to pause the screen and try to read those and answer those yourself. Sure. Um, like I said, I do know some of these have bad words that are sort of edited out, so I'm going to try not to show any of those. So, let's see here. Random.org, question shall I ask? Five. It likes to go to five. So, question three is a random. Oh, and it's a long one. Here, just read it, guys. Let me. Um, if your life depended on it, try to estimate. Within 50... The number of marbles, number of marbles in a ten-gallon jar, or the number of people at an outdoor rock concert. That's almost a that's almost a little too uh, real of a question right now. On it. 
try to estimate within 50 number of marbles in a 10 gallon jar let me just tell you um, I don't know how big of a jar I've got but I do have a container of marbles and I couldn't even tell you right now how many is in it you guys know um, at my cons I do s sell like little bags of marbles uh, and yeah it's amazing you could fit like 20 of them in those little dr bags is it weird I can talk and type at the same time, but I can't talk what I am typing? It's kind of like with uh, doing AS, ASL. Um, I've noticed, like, can't speak because ASL's grammar is a little different. So I can't actually, like, say it while I'm signing it. Unless you're cool with me doing, uh, um... PSE, uh, which is kind of like SE, which pretty much sign the way you talk. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> that was a weird one. Uh, since there's still nobody on my live stream, uh, anyway, I guess nothing else is for you guys on my YouTube. Oh, I forgot to mention, this live stream is a part of my Vloguka, what I'm calling it, Vloguka. Uh, for those who are doing Vlogmas, if you don't know what Vlogmas is, uh, a lot of the YouTubers, and, uh, whether you're a vlogger or not, they vlog for the entire month of December, uh, for the 1st through the 31st, or some only do it from the 1st to the 25th. Uh, I will be doing every day this month, God willing. Um, but what I'm doing uh, is a lot of big things. So I'm, I've got some, like, about almost 60 backlogged videos that I haven't posted ever and some of them go back to three years ago uh, so every day I'll be posting two videos on my YouTube channel uh, and so the, of course you guys for watching this on my YouTube channel enjoy uh, but today I posted a video of a horse oh well I would say not a wild horse it's, it's not a wild horse it does belong to somebody I think um, but there was a horse in my yard so that vlog is up and the second vlog is this so this is part of my Vloguka. Um, only reason I'm posting, I'm going to try to pair them with some live streams. And some are going to be short videos. Some will be long videos. Um, but I will be pairing it with some newer videos and with some live streams, which are very new videos. Uh, mainly because I think I've only got 56 videos that I haven't done. But the reason I'm doing a live stream today is I've only edited uh, well, up in three videos so far, and actually after I do this live stream, I will be going and editing some more questions, or editing some more, I see the word questions, editing some more um, vlogs. Uh, so what I'll be doing after the, yeah, I'll be editing. Uh, tomorrow I will be posting actual two videos that are from the same event. I went to Asheville Comic Con Expo, I think it was about two to three years ago, so I will be posting running around the con video and I went to a Doctor Who uh, panel it was um it was actually two guys who are artists from the Doctor Who um, uh, comic book they actually wrote actually drew in the Doctor Who comic book so I've got that panel unedited I've got that panel going uh, so yeah those will be tomorrow like I said, I've got a whole bunch of videos I've got to edit after this. So, that's why I might not do a full hour. But, heck, I'm already at 20 minutes. So, who knows? We'll see. I've got a lot of editing to do. I, like I said, I've got 51 video. Uh, I might edit out some more. I've actually got to watch that one here pretty soon. Because it is uh, me, Mom, and our friend Brian doing archery out at Henry River. And I the first time I've ever did picture in picture because I've actually found out I can do that now on my YouTube videos with my new editing software because we did have two cameras at the time and I don't know how to do side by side but I do know how to like I've got the full video and then over here will be um, like here will be us shooting and over here will be the camera that was aimed on uh, <laughs> aimed at the target God, 
I did not mean to do that, but was was pointed at our target. So yeah. Um, oh, Libby, I'm doing your word. Uh, there's a YouTuber, Daily Sign. If you guys watch her, she does ASL videos, and she, her, she actually just came out with a bracelet, and inside says "So yeah," because she says it worse than I do. But anyway, on to the next one. Oh, I haven't actually decided on this one yet. Did I? Nope, I'm not. Ah, uh, next. Oh. Oh, I'll, I'll redo it. Uh, one. Ooh, pain, fear, or discomfort. Thanks, friend daughter, for giving me the pain and discomfort. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to actually get into this one or not. I am 12 in it. But if you guys want to answer this question yourself, again, uh, I'll try to write them all down and get them for you guys to answer later. Uh, pain, fear, discomfort. In a bookstore, or sleep in a pile of sweaty jock straps. I don't know if I like this question. So, feel free to answer that one. Um, well, I type this up. Okay, let me know. Can I log these? I feel like the old is almost said my word for when I edit my videos to tell myself to edit clip. But this is live and I can't edit live. <laughs> you usually go, hold please. If you ever hear me say that in one of my YouTube videos, you know I forgot to edit. <laughs> so yeah, hold please one moment while I try and figure out how to save these questions so I don't forget. Um, but in the meantime, actually, I'll answer this. Um, I have actually cleaned, oh, this is going to be, okay, trigger warning, uh, puke warning, that this answer is not going to be the best answer for all audience members. Um, I asked one time when I worked in uh, a neighborhood Walmart, or Walmart neighborhood market uh, back in Indiana, I had to clean the bathrooms one day, and um because we didn't have maintenance, and we were a very small store. We were, you know, boring. So they're like, you want to do it? I'm like, sure, sure, I don't care. Give me something to do. And, um, yeah. Women's bathroom had um, some stuff on the wall. I'm not going to say what it was, but there was on the wall of one stall and um, yeah I had to clean that off I, they give me you know plenty of gloves and stuff and then I um when I got to the men's bathroom let me just say I can feel this question uh, yeah in the men's bathroom when I one thing we usually have to clean the walls if there's you know anything on there in the toilets and then take out the trash and put new bags in. When I cleaned out the trash in the men's bathroom, let's just say there was a adult bookstore item in the trash can, and I'm going to leave it at that because um, that is not friendly content. But so I have pretty much done that. As long as I get to wear a hazmat suit, I don't care. Uh, sleep in a pile of sweaty jock strips. No, thank you. I don't want jock itch on my face. So, um, sorry, Amanda. I saw you, uh, I was over on another page while when you typed. But hi, Amanda. I'm sorry I missed your comment. Um, all right. So, random.org. Give me another number. Number three. 
So we're on question number five. Yeah, I'm going to get dyslexic even worse in a minute. Um, you know. So, oh, let me ask the question first. Then type. That way it gives you time to answer the question while I'm typing. I'm going to figure out this format eventually. So, for food digestion, I've got eat a handful of chicken feathers or three tablespoons of frog eggs. Um, yeah. So, answer your question in the comments below while I type this up. Or in the comments on over there. And then we shall see. Let's see if anybody has the same answers. Um... Document that I just started. Um, so, mm, neither. Uh, honestly, I would probably say three tablespoons of frog eggs, because I know frogs, I think, are kosher. So there's that, and hopefully it would just go straight down. You just, you know, just swallow it like a pill and let it fall down. But a handful of chicken feathers, no things. Um, they're they're very pokey at the end, and that just would feel like it would just. Oh no, thank you. So yeah, I'll eat some frog eggs. Um, and for anybody who watched Orange Is the New Black, um, I think it was in the last season when they had that that bad um, officer that made one of the girls eat uh, was a live baby mouse, or I forget what it was, but oh. Some of these questions are just as gross as that. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other questions I have to ask for you guys. I'm just going to keep asking these and answering these until I think I'll probably do. Um, I'll do five more. And then I'll go ahead and end this chat. Unless we get some more people in here. But yeah, I'm probably just going to do these last five here. And then call it a day. So, let's go over here to random.org. Not a sponsor. I wish it was. Get me a number. Number one. So, let me read this off. Okay, I had to make sure because it started weird. Light your fart and burn yourself and then post it on the fail army. Or, have to have the marble that you stuck up your nose removed by a doctor. Um, okay. Let me type this up here. Man, I got two Marvel questions. What in the world? Well, I'm wearing a Marvel hat. <laughs> Not a coincidence. Um, that is probably, uh, I would say the weirdest, but no, that's not even the weirdest question I've seen on this thing. Um, oops. By the way, guys, if you might notice that I have some typing errors, it's either because my key, my laptop either doesn't type word letters or will double type them. I can't win for losing on this thing. Um, I think I'm just going to quick fire these and then you can watch them later on my YouTube channel I think it is linked here so if you are watching this uh, make sure to go and like and and subscribe on my YouTube channel and make sure to hit that bell for notifications yeah alright uh, I just saw a word I don't like alright random.org my next number is two for appearance or embarrassment Um, have a head with a perfectly flat top, or one that is perfectly spherical. Alright, that one's not, not anywhere as bad as what I've seen before. Um, 
Look at you, where did you come from? Spherical. Who uses that word anymore? Um. I'm sorry. By the way, guys, you see this happening. Um. Yeah. I. I. You know those like classic tray tables, the folding wooden tray tables. Yeah, that is my desk. So yeah. Again, Zumundo, check it out. I don't. Uh, I honestly, I bought this at a resale shop, so I have no idea where to find Zumundo besides maybe go eBay, Amazon. But they they are off brand. Would you rather? I think honestly, these probably did get formed over to. Would you rather? Um, but yeah. So, oh, I saw one that. Mm -mm. I'm definitely not going to answer that if it pulls that number up. Ah, number four. I don't think I've done a four yet. Which is ethics or intellect? So, next question. Oh, excuse me. Um. Oh. I think I've actually known people who've done both of these. Uh, be 20 minutes late for everything or miss your wedding completely. Um, oof. If you know me, um, I am one of those people who is there like an hour early for anything, so I, I don't like being late, because it's part of my fun, um, it's part of my anxiety, really, because I am so afraid anytime there's any kind of time on things. And honestly, doing this live stream, the fact that I put an exact time on it, and if you notice, I popped in here early, just because I'm always so afraid I'm going to miss something, I am always at everything early. If you guys notice, um, John Green, when I went to do the John Green uh, show, when I went to Home Free both times, when I went to see them in Virginia and in Charlotte, um, you guys even saw a couple of my movie vlogs. Uh, if I went, when I went to see the movies, I went way early, hung out in the lobby, and then went into the movie as soon as they let me into the theater. So, like I said, if you guys know me at anything, I am always early if I can help it. So, but 20 minutes late um, for everything or missed your wedding completely. Um, well, I would also hope that if you end up late to your wedding or you end up like, whoops, was that today? Which, how could you be, whoops, is that today? That's something like your wedding. But um, I would think you can just have it again. Uh oh. I think I'd rather be 20 minutes late to everything than, God forbid, miss my wedding completely. I mean, if I ever do get married, I probably won't sleep for, like, a week before my wedding just because I'd be like, is it today? No, wait, it's, like, in three days. Is it today? Oh, no, wait, it's probably in about another five days. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, on to, I got two left. We'll just do two more. And then I'm going to say goodbye and start editing. All right, so random.org, what is my next number? Another four. All right, so that would be ethics again. Discover life in outer space superior or inferior to ourselves. Hmm, sci-fi question. I like that. I would be okay just finding life in outer space, period. Mm -hmm. 
misspelled. I'm looking like, why is it saying it's misspelled? It's not misspelled. I know what I was doing. Um, so, hmm, see, th th that's a conundrum. Like, inferior species, I would almost not want that because I, I don't want to feel like we would be like, we're taking over your planet. But then again, I don't want a superior plant, you know, species, and then, then be like, uh, yes, yeah, so we're taking over your planet. Does it? it just says life. Um. Let's say it's a new species. Ooh, interesting. I don't know. I think inferior, just because I would, I'm just, I, they would probably, you know, feel more welcoming and want to work together with Earth, I hope, uh, versus a superior life form that might be like, yeah, um, so I'm coming to your planet and I'm going to invade you. Hope you're okay with that. Uh, yeah, that would, that would really suck. That would totally suck. So, all right, um, let's go ahead and eat this. Oh, man. You know, for this last one, I'm going to read all five questions off of this one, and feel free to answer them. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just read them all. So, the first one, so be question number 10. Be in a deep lake five miles from shore in a rowboat with a slight but steady leak, slight but steady leak, or in a hot air balloon one mile high with a slight but steady leak. Number 11. Number 11. 11. Yeah, yeah, so. Have an extra leg or an extra arm. And then number 12. Eat a hair sandwich or an earwax omelet. I'll give you guys my answers here and all these in a minute. Um, find out your ex-lover is having an affair with a rich model or a world-renowned Ph.D. Ooh, I don't know on that one. And then finally, so I have 11, 12, 13, 14 is that one. And question number 15. By yourself, alone, paint an entire house with an artist's paintbrush or mow a baseball field with a pair of scissors. Ooh, I know the answer to that one. So let me go over here real quick and type that up and think about your answers. This is right, you guys get to hear me type. Funny story, um, the other day, and it's one of those weird things, me and mom both heard a sound outside our house. We figured out it was down the road that way. Um, it was a very loud, steady, weird, like, hissing sound. I don't know. It was, it was odd. Um, ooh, who knew there's 150 characters only allowed on these things? Um, if you've ever been near a hot air balloon, you know that the sound that it makes when it fills up with, when you actually, like, do the blast of the fire? Um, sounded like that, only, like, a thousand times louder. I'm not kidding. It was so loud and mind you it was at like 4 30 a.m and the fact that we could hear it but not see anything really had us worried um so i have no idea what happened but or what is the real sound was but i could do not it sounded like a hot air balloon blowing up so seeing that word it's like oh yeah or, or, or you know, being in a hot air balloon that's leaking. Um, it reminded me about that because, oh my god, that was so weird.
Um, but yeah, and the really, 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 really weird part about it was I, you know, doing what I do, I recorded it, and I, um, I was going back through and finding, um, you know, going through the old vlogs that I'll be posting this month, and I found that clip, and... I can't hear the sound. I mean, it was loud. The fact that, you know, we could both hear on either sides of the house. It was loud. But when I went back to listen to the video, I couldn't hear it. I So I don't know what was going on. Uh-oh, I think I missed one here. Eleven. Oh, wait, no. Tenth being deep late. Eleven inch arm. Twelve is eat a sandwich. Thirteen set or fourteen set. How did I think there were fifteen? You can tell I can't count. And that was my job for a while. So anyway, um, listen, look at you guys. Thank you for your answers for all these. I don't like that I can't uh, post edit these videos. Uh, so yeah. By the way, I'm trying to think of my answers too. The last one I know, I know exactly what my answer is on that one. Uh, all right. So let me copy these real quick and get them over to. So I can post them for you guys on YouTube. Uh, so for the first one, for number 10, um, I think I'd rather have a slight but steady leak on my rowboat. Just because if it's steady, you can, you know, steadily scoop out and throw the water. So at least there is that. You know, with, you know, a steady leak in an air balloon you can't just climb up to the top of the balloon and patch it up. Uh, or at least with the lake, with the rowboat, you can either figure out whether to put your hair or some piece of your clothes. You can figure out how to plug the hole. Or, like I said, you can just slowly pull it out and row to shore. So, yeah, there's that. Um, have an extra leg. <laughs> Marie just, uh, little Miss Crazed Innocence just commented on my YouTube video. Hey, little butt, how did you get over here? Um, yeah, that's right. I saw you commenting on my videos, but yet you're not over here. Anyway, um, so, number 12. Eat a hair sandwich or an earwax omelet. Um... I mean, everyone's probably had an ear or had some hair in something, but honestly, because I've had earwax flavored uh, Harry Potter jelly beans, which I've actually got some over there, I'm sending to Philip DeFranco. Um, yeah, I think I'd rather have an earwax omelet as long as it's my earwax, and as long as it's like melted down and, and cooked, you know, boiled for safety. Retin Link, um, what well, name dropping so? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I'd rather have an earwax omelet. And then, number 13, find out your ex-lover is having an affair with a rich model or a renowned PhD. Here's the fun thing about that. I don't have an ex-lover. Um, yeah. So, and is having an affair, well, if they're, if they're your ex-lover, then they're not having an affair. They're just with somebody new. And, um, the only real boyfriend I've had, uh, let's put it this way, I can't imagine a rich model or a renowned PhD being with him. So I'm going to go with neither. Um, yeah, neither. Neither. Not, not happening. He would never get lucky to get a rich, hot model, nor would he get lucky to get someone who, that's a world-renowned PhD, because, well, if they've got a PhD and it's world-renowned, they're smarter than to know to be anywhere near him. So, yeah. Um, and last but certainly not 
least, or is it? Um, actually, this one I know the answer to. By yourself, paint an entire house with an artist's brush, or mow a baseball field with a pair of scissors. Um, here's one thing I probably haven't talked to you guys about a lot. I love to paint. I can't, like, paint pictures. I, I mean, I can draw, like, stick figures and smiley faces and my pretty butterflies that you may have seen in my old logo. Uh, not in this one. No, those are not mine. I wish. Um, I, people call it my, my 3EO, or 3, no, EO3 butterflies. I'll draw them for you later. Um, if you like to say, if you watch my old vlogs, um, when it pops down Ginger Princess and that little butterfly, I can draw that. Um, but I actually love, if you just give me a block of wood and some paint, I can sit there and paint that all day long. Uh, give me different colors. Tell them which order you want me, which order you want them in. I can do that. Hey, so Charles Trippy, you guys are talking about wanting to repaint your stairs, get that uh, fade color again, call me. I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it for you. I don't care. Um, I love painting just blank, to, to, just covering something with one color or multiple colors. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I am totally okay with painting an entire house by myself with an artist paintbrush. I don't even care if it's those like cheap little, uh, some people like call them like ostrich eyelash brushes. I'm okay. Just, just make sure I have a lot of them. And, yeah, leave me alone. Give me some music, and I'm okay. So, yeah, mowing lawn. I don't even care if you tell me to mow a baseball field with a lawnmower. Uh, no, allergies will not let that happen. So, no. Um, I clicked on my Facebook tab, and nothing happened for a second. That was so weird. So, anyway, um, so I think I'll go ahead and in this lovely little live stream here guys since we didn't get many people who to stay except for to promote their own channel by the way let me go on this little rant here um if you are a if you feel a, a connection or you know have similar things with somebody i am all for promoting your thing with somebody else's thing but if you're just on somebody's whatever, on their channel, on their uh, Facebook page, on, you know, at, at their panel, just to promote your own stuff, that's rude. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go on a rant after asking all these questions. That'll get me to an hour. Um, this is not just because of this. I hate going through people, any more than my channel or somebody else's channel. I despise the words, hey, I just subscribed to you, please subscribe to me, and that's it. You never see another post from that person. You never see a single thing from that person again. They probably didn't even subscribe to you, but they want you to subscribe to them. Um, just as I had right here in this very live stream, someone came in, invited all of her fans to join this live stream, and then she left after I fanned her back. Um, oh, look, someone just invited me. That person just invited me to a broadcast. That's what I'm talking about, people. Um, and it, it's not just that, but yeah, people who go to people's YouTube channels to say, subscribe, you're just trying to get their audience. Um, I've seen people on, like, Facebook pages it's like, this is a Supernatural Facebook page. And they're like, hey, I do Supernatural fanfic. Check out my fanfiction on fanfic.net. That, I mean, if someone says, I, and I've even got this on the uh, YouTube creator's Facebook page, there are times they say, all right, everyone, drop your link here. That's cool. If someone says, you know, hey, I'm always open to more channels, feel free to drop your link in the comments below. That's fine. But if you're not asked for your stuff on someone else's stuff, don't. It is rude. It is, um, it's almost, you know, spam. Well, really, it is spam. And on, I'm not just talking even about on here and on YouTube. 
I actually saw in the place I work, um, we have, you know, book section, and somebody, some local author, I don't even know who it was now, stuck their bookmarks promoting their book in random books in the section that was similar to theirs, but they just stuck them in random books in the book section. First of all, that's illegal because that is, um, oh my god, I'm blanking on the word. It's, um, I'll think of it later, and if I do, I'll, I'll try to put it down below. But it's trying to sell your stuff in a place of business is already illegal. But it's rude to promote your book in someone else's book without that author's permission. And mind you, I do know some authors. Um, I'm in a writer's group with them. If I ever see somebody put their bookmark in someone else's book, by God, I will take a picture of it and be like, hey, you know, Mrs. Hink, did you know that so-and-so stuck their bookmark in your book? Because let me tell you, like I said, do it with permission. That's fine. If one day I say, all right, everybody who's got a Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, I'm just going to do a social media outcry, do it now. That's fine. But do not come on to someone else's work. Like I said, don't, don't. Put your work, don't advertise what you do on someone else's work without their permission. That's like putting a commercial on TV because you work at the TV station. You put a commercial for your mom and pop store without telling the execs, without getting permission from the TV show. Advertising without permission is wrong. It's unethical. And then that kind of goes with these questions here. Get, do not ask for something you're not willing to give, even. Because, I mean, people are coming on here, it's like, oh, I fanned you, will you fan me too? I'll never see that person again. Um, I subscribe to you, will you subscribe to me? They're never, that, that's the last video they're going to watch. One person actually commented uh, that very thing, you know, hey, I subbed, will you sub me back? On one of my uh, kitten birth videos. That's one of the, my most obscure videos. Um, and let me tell you, yeah, I haven't seen a single thing from that person since then. Um, it's just rude. It's wrong. It's unethical. Um, and personally, every time I've seen somebody, whether they, they tell, you know, whether they do on my post, or like I said, even if it's not on my, my channel, you do on somebody else's channel, the second I see those words, I immediately ignore you. You are no longer there. Um, in fact, if I see that on YouTube, I report it and delete it. Um, like I said, for, but like I said, even the ones who, um, I'm still trying to think of that word, the ones who put their bookmarks in someone else's book, not only are you being rude saying, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me, don't look at this book, look at me, you're also littering because you know damn good and well Whoever buys this book, it's going to go, Lord. Um, and that even goes for some people who hand out, like, pamphlets and stuff. Do, uh, uh, oof, let me go on to that rant, um, just because I feel like I'm just offending 20,000 people. Do not hand someone a flyer. If you are handing out business cards or flyers for something, one, do not put them on vehicles. I'm going to sound hypocritical here for a second because um, I actually did have to, have to? Yeah, have to. Um, when we first moved here, uh, I might actually talk about that. I'm going to do a podcast later down the road. But um, when I first moved to North Carolina, we were jobless and homeless. And our, it was Hannah, our van, the brake stopped working. One of the cars, or one of the tires, um, brakes were smoking. And we went to the nearest dealership where we were at the time. I know, I think we ended up calling different places. And this one guy said, here, I'm going to make you a deal. We're going to play old school barter system. 
he said, my assistant just called in sick. He said, she was supposed to do a an errand for me, but it's not here, and I need to get this job done. I'll fix, you know, I'll replace your brakes. All you have to do is hand out these flyers for me. He said, I'll even tell you, go to um, this one mall. I think it was a mall or a hospital. I forget. But he told us, go to this one parking lot in Valentine and put these flyers on every car. I'm going to give you this stack. And then you're good to go. He even trusted us to do it, which is really cool. Because um, he, he fixed it. Of course, we couldn't go to that place without a car. Um, so he, he, we took the stack of papers, and we took them to this one place and put them on there. But um, I don't recommend people doing that. I didn't like doing that. But it was either that or have a car that could kill us. So, um, but there is a... Uh, a pizza place near where I live. I will never go to that pizza place because multiple times they have hit the Walmart parking lot and put their flyers in our on our windshield. Um, they were the ones. They didn't put it actually in the driver door or in the driver uh, window. I mean, they actually stuck it like here's the window. And like with the window pane, where you know, like then the doors here, they actually stuck it right there, in like the black plastic strip on your window. They stuck them there. Um, but yeah, these guys. I mean, really, anybody who does that, who trolls Walmart parking lots to put your flyer out, and really, if you've got a good thing, or if you come into the store and make a deal with us, but technically that's illegal. That's um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blanking on the word. I'm not panhandling. It's, it's, um, one of these days I'm going to think of that word. Um, oops. No. What the crap? Sorry, my tablet's being a jerk right now. So, my tablet's a jerk. Um, but really, if you talk to us and, and you know ask to put the flyers out, sure, that's fine. Um, don't do it just to do it. You put your stuff out there. That's just rude. But really, uh, if I can think of the word, or if any of you can think of the word, post in the comments below. But anyway, uh, we're at 58 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and end this now. Rant over. <laughs> Ginger is done ranting about this. But, uh, yeah. So really, if you're going to tell someone, I'll be your fan or your follower or your subscriber. If you subscribe, follow, fan me, at least follow through. At least reciprocate. You know, join their fun. Be their friend. And that even goes for being friends. Hey, if we exchange phone numbers, we should call each other all the time. But I'm only going to call you and, and talk to you about my problems. But I'm never going to ask you about your problem. Same thing, man. Same thing. It's a give and take world. If you guys, if it's only one-sided, we're all going to start getting pissy eventually. So, um, oh, one minute early. I'm going to go ahead and call it. Thank you guys for so much for watching. Uh, for watching this on my YouTube channel. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I actually looked at my analytics. It said 98% of you watching my videos are not subscribed subscribe. Hit the red button. It all it takes is hitting the red button right down there. Right down there. Oh, wait. I'm going to drink this water and you subscribe right now. Did you subscribe? Did you hit the bell, too? I mean, the bell's worth it, too. But anyway, love your faces. See you guys. Um, like I said, two videos every day for the month of December. If a day goes by that I don't post, spam the hell out of my chats and be like, uh, where's my, where, where's the post day? Where's your post today? Where's me today? Go on to my Twitter, my Facebook, and be like, hey, we getting a video today or what? Anyway, love your faces. Ooh, I'm Philip DeFranco. You just been filled in. Ha <laughs> ha. Bye.